This is a short demonstration of the Disaster Area DMC controllers with Eventide Factor Series firmware. The Factor Series are um, studio quality processors in stomp box enclosures. They're very popular, they sound great, they have a lot of options and uh, a lot of possibilities for live and studio use. Uh, they also have MIDI interface. So on the right side of the Factor Series enclosure, there's a MIDI in and an out slash through jack. Uh, we've connected the DMC3 to the Factor with a standard MIDI cable, uh, DMC MIDI out to the Factor MIDI in. Now, there are no predetermined MIDI assignments for the Factor series. Eventide has been very cool and allowed the users to set up their own uh, MIDI controller assignments. So you can assign any continuous controller to do any MIDI controllable function. That's great if you want to program everything. Um, most of our customers are used to plug and play type devices where you get the DMC controller, plug it into your device and everything is already configured. The factor series are a little more complicated than that but we're going to show you how to configure your factor series to work with the DMC. So on the DMC you can see that we have a green mode, we have a red mode, a violet mode, and a blue mode. These correspond roughly to the same modes that are on the DMC series for the timeline. So the blue mode is preset change and bypass. The green mode is looper control. The red mode is an assignable control. Here we are going to set it up for bank up and bank down. And the violet mode is another assignable control. So with the red and violet modes, we're going to assign them to uh, bank down, bank up, uh, repeat on, off, and tap. So we'll show you how to do all that. So starting with the blue mode, if you power the controller up and don't do anything, blue mode will increment through your patches. So by pressing up and down, it'll go from patch 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 127. These correspond to the normal factor banks. So this will step through each patch individually. You don't have to select a bank and then press the A or B button, the activate or repeat button. So this is similar to what we call preset mode on the timeline. If you're familiar with our uh, other controller videos, you can see that demonstrated there. This also has a scrolling feature, but since it takes the factor a while to update its display, we've slowed the scrolling down. Um, by pressing and holding the center button, we can bypass the factor. In this case, we're using a time factor and we can engage it again. So pressing and holding the center button is bypassed. So in blue mode, you can select any patch, activate or bypass it. Green mode is for loop or control. The factor series do not allow looping unless you are set to the looper mode, and we'll show you how to do that. The red mode is assignable, as I said, and we've assigned the center to be um, bank and play mode. So you can see we're doing bank up and down and now we're back into play mode and then we've set uh, the violet mode for tap and for repeat on and off. Let's go over setting up the time factor. You need to press and hold the encoder and the tap button until you enter the menu. Now turn the encoder to change in and out of the menu. Uh, it starts off with bypass goes to auxiliary switch, MIDI, global, and utility. We're going to go to the MIDI menu, press the encoder. This is going to allow us to choose the receive channel, the transmit channel, and the receive controllers. So we'll go to receive controllers and press the encoder again. And then it gives you a big menu of all the various encoder destinations. So you see we have bypass, bank up, bank down, tap, repeat, uh, play and bank, record, play, stop, etc. So you can enter in the controllers manually if you like by pressing the tap button which will turn this arrow to face the controller and then you can turn the encoder like this to select the correct destination. There's an easier way to do this. If you've got the arrow pointing to the right and you press tap again it will say learn. And what you then do is go over to your controller and send the command that you want to learn. So we're going to be in blue mode. If you're not in blue mode, step to blue mode. Press and hold the center button and you can see it's picked up controller 31. Press the active button, the left button, to change the arrow back the other direction and then you can use the encoder to go to the next destination. 
So you can see here we've set up bypass to be 31, bank up to be 12, bank down to be 11, tap to be 22, repeat to be 21. We set up play bank to be 10, and then the looper controls are 41, 42, 43. And we've left all the other destinations alone. So once you've got what you want, you can exit the menu by pressing the encoder and the tap button again, and this puts you back in your normal mode. From there, you'll then be able to control all the functions of your time factor, mod factor, pitch factor with the DMC controller. If you'd like to assign different things to different banks, you can do that. You can assign anything you want to any of the, the either of the red or the violet uh, modes. The green mode has what we call a state machine, and it's designed, if you enter the looper mode, to follow along correctly with the LEDs on the time factor. So, all right, let's talk about using the looper. The time factor is a little different than the timeline in that the looper is not accessible unless you've called up a preset or manually entered the looper mode. Um, what we can do once we've entered the looper mode is use the controls to change the looper settings. We can change the record mode from latch to punch. We can change the various other settings, the speed controls, the filter controls, etc. So when we press the left button, we start recording. We press it again. We're playing back. And when we press the play button, we stop. Depending on how you have the overdub settings, uh, this may or may not behave exactly like the timeline or the DL4 or N9. So it's a little bit different setup. Even Ty gives you some uh, nice options. You can go and choose overdub latch, punch, replace, replace. Overdubbing, not overdubbing, playing back, and stopped. So there you have it. The DMC controllers controlling the Eventide Factor series. Thanks.